Hey, what's up, uh, everybody? <laughs> good Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Everybody, good to see you. Uh, we're just hanging out here today uh, in, um, well, Saratoga Springs, Utah. Yeah. It is not uh, Eagle Mountain, where we were earlier today. And and where was um, the distillery? We Park City. Park City. Yeah, Mile Park High. City. Mile High. That was, uh, that was awesome. So, um, hey, we're going to talk about, I think, GSX. We are. Exciting. First Exciting. of all. First time for you. Yes. First time yes. for you, which, you, you know, that's. That's big. That's huge. It is. I think you're going to have a good time. And I hope so. And I think you're going to contribute as much as you get out of it, you know, because your experience and I, I think you're going to fall into the panels and the discussions. And Yeah. I am looking forward to it. Looking to uh, meet some of the partners that I've uh, connected with on LinkedIn that I haven't uh, been able to meet in person yet. Yeah. Uh, very excited. Nice. I like that. I'm working through the. This is a big time uh, venue here. I, I'm doing a mic, the camera, the the lighting. It's right. awesome. You uh, you came prepared for he, this, and he has some bagel bites in the toaster oven. So <laughs> yeah. that's how we do these kinds of things. So, hey, let's here. get this thing started, right? Great. Cheers, cheers buddy. Carlos, that's cheers. right. Hey, here cheers, we go. Cheers, cheers. Again, once again with your local distillery, we got the uh, Dented Brick Distillery here from Salt Lake City. It's craft whiskey, looking good, tasting good. That's what we're doing today. So GSX, here we go. I love GSX. I'm a huge fan of GSX for multiple reasons. Um, one of them is the education piece. I always thought it was pretty interesting. A lot of the classes, especially the new classes, sometimes they do do-overs, uh, which is okay. Um, I love the new stuff. And it's not to talk about what you and I, Red, are doing, mm -hmm. because I've never seen data center-specific security conversations. Right. So you and I have an opportunity, I think for the first time uh, ever, and GSX to get something done, but it's any of the new stuff that comes up um, for me. Great education, good time with some great folks. I'll start at the education piece. What 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 else do you think GSX is? So I've I, I was lucky, right? When I was yeah. in the military, you know, I had a couple of positions at the toward the end of my career that sponsored, you know, FBI involvement, local, you know, government private partnerships. Um, so I would get sponsored either on military day, which is always the Wednesday at, uh, at the ASIS conferences, you get to walk the floor, you get to see the vendors, you get to rub elbows with people that you wouldn't normally see. So I, I've, I've always found that the education pieces are great. Um, but the networking opportunities and the ability to, to go up and find people, if you're looking for a job, find someone that's in that career. If you're, you know, if you've already received a lot of mentorship, I know I have, we've talked about that, yeah. then don't be so busy in your day that you can't take time out to give back to some of the folks that have questions and they're really trying to, to find their way. So that's a good one. What are, you, what are you looking for at GSX? What are some of the things that you've heard? What is it that you want to be doing? Enlightenment. Enlightenment, right? And, and you're world in peace. search of light. I'm in search of light. You're traveling from the west to the east. To the east, there in you search go. Of light. Of light. No, I, you know, I, I don't have a whole lot of uh, preconceived notions of what it is. You know, yeah. in, in the law enforcement arena, went to a lot of different conferences, which sound very similar to multiple tracks, right. uh, floor shows, vendors, yep. etc. So yeah, I think it'll be very similar in that sense. And as I'm progressing through my now private sector career. It's, it's getting more engaged with ASIS, with the folks that we engage with on LinkedIn and, right. and have discussions about and getting back, uh, giving more into the industry and, and trying to pull from it what I need to grow myself. Yeah. yeah. And we're right in the middle of our global security summit. We are. So, you know, we're, we're doing a lot of things. I think it's, it's not coincidental that we're right on the leading edge of a lot of companies returning to office to, to being back towards normal staffing. Yep. You know, there's a lot of lessons learned, but I think at, at ASIS, if you're a security professional and you're comfortable, great, right? But but never stop growing. Um, you can go to, to GSX. I'm really excited about our topic, right? Talking about what the future of security looks like and then carving out a niche on, you know, is, is data center security any different than any other kind of security? Right. And we'll have a good hour or so plus some breakouts to talk about that. But if you're trying to get your CPP or another certification, get there a couple of days early. They've got some classes. Yes. You can find some mentors there that can get you over the hump. If you think your resume isn't up to par, they've got teams there that will do resume writing services. So I think 
you know, ASIS makes it as easy as possible once or twice a year to get all of these capabilities in one location. Um, so I, I'm telling you, if you're on the fence, give it a try. Yeah, inter- interesting enough. It, it's definitely a place where I go to get a lot of my CPEs. Do we get a chance to speak a lot at different right. uh, opportunities, conventions, forums, and all that right. stuff, which gives us like educational CPEs to put into it? Uh, as educators, the the CPEs that you get there as well, I mean, it really covers all aspects of security, and I love it. And, 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 you know, it just makes it easier to maintain that CPP, right. you know, so – I think it's a great idea. It's a great idea for somebody that is new. It's right. a great idea for somebody that's never gone. Justin, Justin, by the way, everybody's running the a little uh, shy. He's the, off he's, camera. He's so. off camera over there. Uh, yeah. So anyways, um, so a lot of great stuff going on. I'll tell you something else that I like I about her. What? Throw you under the bus, Justin. It was just Justin, just the first name. He doesn't uh, have to say his last name, Evans. There's no need for that. The, no. no. No need to go there. So the... There's something else about it that I that I love, yeah. In which we're, I think we're going to be doing a lot of it is just, uh, and you mentioned a little bit about it is connecting with some friends, connecting with some people, yep. connecting with some people in the industry, and it's where automatically right there and then through conversations we're benchmarking with each other. We're talking about the industry. We're talking about the future. We're talking about technology and all these other things. But it's in the moment. It's right there yep. and then. And I think that is super super exciting. One of the big things why I go. Well, for me, um, you know, following uh, a lot of what you do with your book is I mentor folks with leadership and uh, having met some really, really amazing folks uh, through LinkedIn and and networking, developed some really good friendships. And some of these folks I've never met in person because of circumstances, (laughs) because of distance. It's amazing, ain't it? And and we'll, we'll talk on the phone all the time. We'll have video calls. We'll check in. Uh, so, so for me, getting to that networking piece and, and building those relationships, having that, that community and actually getting to meet some of these people in person, spend some time with them, right. grab a drink, sit in a class, walk the halls, you know, and, and talk. That's what I'm really looking forward to. I've, I've always maintained, and, and sometimes it's been a not so popular position when you're talking about remote learning or, or you know, work from home or whatever. There is an energy and a contagious enthusiasm that comes with getting two or three people together. And then just like at the water cooler at work, or, you know, if you're in the military on a smoke break, you know, cause whatever you do, right. You get those guys together. And whether you're talking about a game or in our case, whether you're talking about one of the leading edge challenges that, that's facing security today, yeah. um, I can never count on if I'm just having a one-on-one with you getting Greg's perspective and the unknown comic, Justin's perspective, or, you know, and because because you draw people in yeah. and people see your enthusiasm and uh, I'm I am just really looking forward to capitalizing on the momentum that we got coming out of uh, Orlando last year. And then, you know, taking that to a, to the next place. Yeah, where I was the uh, unofficial ambassador. The unofficial. The cheers, unofficial. man. Cheers. cheers. That, that was the the, uh, who's hometown. Thank you. Hometown, baby. Hometown, hometown. Oh, town. Oh, wait. Oh, that was that was close. It was close. Yeah. We'll, let, we'll let that one slide. I, uh, yeah, I know. So it's interesting what you said because I, I met a lot of people. Um, and I'm going to start naming some names out there. Big time Ernie Vanderlees. Love you, man. Ernie. Uh, congrats. Colorado. We've got a big gig up there, man. So happy for you. But um, Ernie was one of those guys that just awesome. We did a podcast together. We did a bunch of interview stuff together. We hung out together online. Right. And then I see him in person. And, it, I mean, he's bigger than life itself. He's such an awesome guy. Um, you could get some of it on camera, but you can't. And then there's all these folks that I love to death, and I meet them for the first time, and I was yep. like, I didn't know you were that short. Or, dude, <laughs> Carlos, I didn't know you were that big. Or I was like, hey, Carlos. You uh, play college ball. Well, I mean, it was like, it was like the same. I, I was just last week. I mean, in, uh, speaking at the forum in, in Phoenix, and uh, uh, my good friend, Fellum, uh, I've never met. He was in England for the first right. time. I get a chance to meet him in person. I remember a year ago that podcast, right? Right. Yeah. So he literally goes, "You're exactly what I." Th-. That was literally one of the first things that he said because we don't know really right. what each right. other look. It's like from here up, and he goes, "You're ex- your energy is like exact." I knew, man, you're exactly who I thought you were. Yep. And I- uh, and I said, "Tell him you're kind of what I- yeah, I'm short, aren't I?" Oh, you're a little shorter than I thought. But, yeah. I mean, and he, he laughed about it. I right. laughed about it. We had a great conversation. Yeah. We had dinner, you know, a couple nights. 
And uh, what an awesome guy, Fallon. So Love that's, you too, buddy. That's another pivot, right? I mean, just in and of itself, you get there, you know, you fly in yep. on Saturday, you go to the reception on Sunday, you go to Texas night, Texas right? Texas night. Where everybody's going to be there. Our, our, our By favorite. Way, yeah, Texas night, big chuckity right. chuck. That's my new thing, a chuckity chuck. Chuckity People chuck. Like that, yeah. Chuckity chuck. Is that, do you think he likes that? Uh, he hasn't said anything about it, but right. uh, friends of Chuck, Chuck friends Chuck of Chuck Andrews. Uh, what yeah. what a great guy! And you and you talk about giving back, right? Some of these oh, people yeah. just give back so much, and I'm looking forward to to seeing hundreds of or thousands of people at Texas Night. Yeah, um, but then all the other opportunities, right? To uh, to really connect with folks that that make a difference. It's uh, it's going to be exciting. It, uh, I I think this one. I'm very be. much looking forward to it. Yeah, this in particular, because, you know, Orlando, when I went to Orlando, it was it was great for me because it was in my hometown and I loved every bit of it. The problem is that we people were still unsure about COVID. It was right. Almost, no, you're absolutely right. Yeah, right. it was right kind of towards the end, but not really. And then we kind of went back to it. So it was right in the middle of we're OK, but we're not uh, to the point that we had to to make sure we had shots. We had to show them that we had shots and all this other stuff. So we were kind of still in the middle. So it was pretty empty from what I remember. I know for a fact that Atlanta is going to be, as I used to say back in the days, off the hook. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So I'm excited. Yeah, we about used to say GSX. a really well attended event, but yeah, I'm I'm, I'm with you on on <laughs> off the hook, right? Off the hook. So uh, off the hook we'll is just, just as good. Yeah, I know. We'll take it. So so I'm excited about that. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm excited about a couple of other presenters. Our, our good friend Altaf Bora is going to be presenting, uh, which is going to be great. Uh, Scott Walker is going to pre- present. Uh, Amanda is going to be presenting. Uh, so I'm excited about that as well. Um, God, uh, Ray Secure is going to be presenting. Good, my good friend William Plummer uh, is going to be presenting. Uh, I think I'm jumping on that panel with him. I think, right, Ray? I, I think I got an email or something about it. So um, have your people call his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a call, man. You know. So I think we're doing that as well. Um, a lot of great people, a lot of good folks going to be there, man. I, I I just think it's it's great for us in the industry. And I think we became better buddies, industry buddies as a whole, everybody, because of COVID-19. Yeah, I think there I think there was a a a drought or a, you know, a sense of I want to get out there. A lot of people, you know, have their own views on whether to go out, whether to get shots, whether wear a mask, you know, all that stuff is is an individual choice. I I you know, I still think that people want to connect physically they want to be in the same proximity and especially when you have so many different educational options or you know if you're if you're on a career path right you're going to find hundreds of people here who are either soliciting trying to find somebody or in the same boat that you're in so uh i still think the highlight of orlando was not the late night run for food although that was top 10 Listen, if you haven't had White Castles. Yes. Right. If you haven't had White Castle at 2 in the morning. 2 in the morning. If you, yeah, yeah, if you, you haven't had it, some, you got to have it. You have to have it. You have to have it. But the the breakout session, yep. we must have had 300 people in a oh, conference wow, room. Oh, man. That was, a, that, was a, that was a really cool event. Right? Uh, with uh, Track Force Valiant. Um, awesome event. You know what was cool about that event is that it was we were just, you know, we were rolling with it. Yeah. You know, we just knew who was in the room. And kind of just yep. brought him up on stage. Right. It was, uh, you want to talk about winging it. Right. But it was pretty cool, I, it, I thought, you know. So, I, I don't know. What would you think of it? I, I I thought that when you get that kind of energy starting off the discussion. Yeah. And then it's, I think, kind of like our discussion. We're going to we're gonna have, we're going to talk about, you know, data center security. Yeah. What it means currently and what the future is going to look like. Right. But I think there are enough there are enough pivot points in that discussion that we can go in multiple directions based on, you know, just getting through the salient points and then hopefully having some time to talk to a few folks that are, you know, in attendance. Yeah. And oftentimes it's, it's like the water cooler, right? Mm -hmm. That's where 
most of the really good stuff comes from. Right. Yeah. It comes from walking the halls at GSX, yep. right? Bumping into somebody that you you know online, like Greg said. Right. And then, you know, they'll ask a question. Hey, you were a former chief of police. I'm I'm related to Crossroads. Can you tell me yeah. how did you get right. to where you are? Because, you know, there are people that are in, in really niche markets right. that are doing excellent work. Um, I think the data center community is really small. Yes. And given where the world is going with AR, VR, you know, uh, I'm not going to use all of our company stuff, but Oculus. But, but you can say metaverse and right. all those other things. But, Absolutely. But, but there are the, the needs for capacity are not restrictive. Yeah. Right. With video, with all the things that are going on now with reels, with yep. the capacity need in the next 10 years is going to grow. Yeah. So if I'm looking at a career choice and I like security, um, you know, where's that growth data centers right. might be the way to go. Right. And and getting in on the ground floor or yeah. getting into a, a discussion like this. Um, you know, we talked about it when, when your book came out and we were doing some chapter discussions. I've always thought that it was more important or as important to know what you're not good at and what wouldn't work for you. Yeah. So you might find that coming to this discussion, uh, that's just not my bag. Right. Hey, well, great. But you know, there's a lot of other guys here and we'll find something for you. Well, yeah. And then there's the energy that carries from the presentation and the discussion that you will be formally doing. Yeah. The, the energy it generates, the questions it generates. Sure. So you go into the breakout sessions and we've all had these yep. the water cooler conversations. Hey, that was great. Can we, you got five minutes to right. keep talking? And, and that energy keeps going. And we see that yeah. with um, brainstorming sessions so where what, everybody's feeding off of everything. What's the, what gives you the most joy working in your current job? Uh, you know, it ties back to a couple of the conversations Carlos and I had. It's the people. Right. It, it really is. It it's, is phenomenal. The people we work with It is Incredible. absolutely the people. The best. Our culture is probably one of the best I've ever worked in. Yep. Top two for sure. Right. Then I have to go back and forth and some other stuff. But a hundred percent, you know, and there's not many times that I literally go around saying I love you and I really mean it. Like everybody that I work with, no. it's like it's like I love you. Right. You know, because yeah. I remember in that. Car built for four that we had thirteen people in going to White Castle at two in the morning. <laughs> the White you Castle, said it a, you said it a lot as your head because I hang. did. I, right. I, I, lo I love you, you guys. You and loved and the guy at the stoplight. No, you loved the girl at the counter. And there was no the, the you love know the two everyone. in the morning. The, love. the reason why we're getting food at two in the morning had absolutely no effect on why I was I was doing that. But but here it is, September twelfth to the fourteenth, GSX Atlanta. Yep, it's going to be awesome right in downtown Atlanta at the Georgia. Uh, I forgot the, the convention, convention center, center. World, yeah, center. But, uh, world center, good Jordan world center. Um, you and I, we get to speak on the 13th, mm -hmm. which it happens to be a really cool thing because if you're military law enforcement on, on that day or, or federal or CIA, FBI, whatever, uh, on that day, you get in for free, right? You have to register that. You have to register. So if, if you go to the GSX 2022 website, yeah. and register. you can do a single day registration. For, as a as a student or as a military member, and I think you totally get full free. access. Yeah, so make sure you just message us, any of us here. That's that's uh, or Justin Jen, or or Justin, uh, last name Evans. If you want to uh, get out there, and you know, we'll host you. We'll walk around with you. We'll Absolutely. show you the area. We'll introduce you to people. You know, I'm trying to walk with a posse. Are you signing autographs? Well, I want a posse. Well, I'll, I'll bring. I'll have some of my books there as well. Okay. But I'm trying to walk with a posse. You have to. Because I want to introduce people. Right. I want, you know, I'm trying to bring some high energy. Build community. Yeah, I'm trying to build that community for so sure. So we're giving back, right? Giving back. We're, we're again, uh, no pets were harmed in the making of this That's presentation. True. Yes. And we're not getting a dime. I feel like white Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. So this is really born out of two things. Yeah. It, it's the enjoyment and the excitement that we have every day coming to work. Right. I want other people to at least have that opportunity That's right. to know what it's like. And then, you know, the other thing is just, I, I was in the military. I retired. I thought I had an A track for a great job. It didn't work out the way I thought right. and the timing that I thought. Right. So there's nothing worse than being at that crossroads and not having a mentor or not having a group of people that had your back. And you mentioned, you know, Ernie and Chuck and, you know, all, all those great every, guys. Everybody got, uh, on LinkedIn. Uh, uh, there's more. I mean, everybody from the kindness games yes. are going to be out there. Tim Wenzo. Uh, Lee Auten, Keiko Sean, she's going to be there. I, I'm really excited about that, too, because if anybody got involved in the past couple of years with the Kindness Games, 
These are folks that are really super kind within our industry. Right. And all they want to do is give back as well. I'm part of the, the kindness games. Um, it's just going to be awesome. There's, you know, there's nothing but people there that yep. really want to help. And I think more than ever, because I'm going to be honest, you know, I've been a CPP for a long time and I've been going to these for a long time before I was even called GSX. And there was a time that you would walk around and it's almost like a, a measurement of who's better. Right. It was pretty, oh, yeah. pretty sad. But I think Orlando was quite different even than Very Vegas different. a couple of years prior, you know, that we were all there. A couple of, it was it was quite different. Right. Orlando felt different. I'm telling you, if anything, we at least are bringing great positiveness. Positiveness? Positivity. 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 Hey, I am uh, Brazilian, so I have an excuse. Right. works just fine. It yeah, does. thank you very it much. Does. But we're bringing it, and uh, you know, and I want everybody to bring it along. And, and like I said, come and hang out with us. Just right. hang out with a big posse. That's, that's what I want, man. Well, so it, culture, is that what, where you get your joy from? Oh, man. Yeah, I, I get my joy 100% for helping people. Yeah. You know, helping people. And it doesn't matter for my team members or somebody that just needs help or somebody that right. um, I feel that are really. I love to have people help people, too, that really help themselves. When I see that you're doing what you need to do in order to get where you want to be, I want to mentor you. Yeah, absolutely. You, don't, you may not know this, but I'm mentoring you. Right. You know, regardless of what it is, I got your back. I got you hooked up. Whatever absolutely you're going to need in your career, yeah. my job, you don't know this. If I think you got it in you, that's where I get my joy from. That's it. That's it. You so know? I think the thing that, that really excited me, and, and again, I, I'm not your atypical tech guy, right? I'm, I'm not a millennial. I'm not yeah. in my 20s and 30s. I'm not an engineer. But I found that from, you know, the the outreach to the to the hiring process, getting into the global security team that we have here and that other companies have. We, we don't have a market on great culture. Uh, I just think from what I've seen, there isn't a schoolhouse solution to working in our industry, right? I think as much as we like to talk about technical expertise, the type of humans that we have, that we work with every day, that come from the gamut, right? They come from the government, law enforcement, you know, loss prevention, um, you, know, you name it. What they bring to the table every day is a a, a a cultural desire to give to somebody else, right? They don't have to, they don't have to, like you talked about in your book, right? They don't have to carry the ball across the goal line. They just want to be on the team. Sometimes they'll be a contributor. Sometimes they'll be a listener. But everybody on our team will do anything to have anybody on our team succeed. Well, one of the common threads that we have in, in our day-to-day -day, uh, engagement with folks on LinkedIn is, you know, I think all three of us get hit up on a very regular basis. Hey, saw you on a podcast. Saw you mentioned you have 10 minutes to talk. I'll talk to anybody. Yeah. You know, I'll, I will make time. I'll try to make those conversations. And, and your point about putting the effort in. Mm -hmm. And and some folks will, uh, you know, hey, I, I, I'm just looking around. Can you give me a referral? We'll spend some time talking. Oh, to my me. God. Let me get to know you. Let me let me see who you are as right. a person. And uh, a couple of people that I want to actually call out that are really good friends, uh, Blake Fleming and Brad Wilson, uh, military and law enforcement, respectively. They're both getting close to their transition points into the private sector and mm -hmm. uh, have made some really good friendships with these guys and they're putting the effort in they're reaching out and you know, who else can i contact well talk to carlos talk to red right. talk to andrew outlet who's a great resource yeah, for transitions sure you yeah, know he just posted something else i started commenting on that yeah yeah, he's, yeah. A good, he's a good guy for sure and and yeah, yeah. When, you, when you talk to those folks on the on the that ring and say hey your buddy brad your buddy blake reached out to me had a right. really good conversation they're putting that effort in. They're making the. They're making, uh, taking time, doing the initiative work, and, and work. trying to better themselves. I'll help anybody like that all day long. Absolutely, um, God. You know, there's definitely about a hundred names of people that are, that are just like that, uh, and I love them. They're great, and then I love when they actually get the the gig when they get a job. Right, like George. Well, I was. George is one of them. You know. Um, and I just had I just had lunch with Georgia uh, last week. Oh, at the summer and dinner, and oh yeah, we hung out, man. We hung out yeah. myself, him, and Scott. Uh, we had a blast. Great conversations. But a, a guy like that, right? I mean, 
put, he put in the effort and he came out and he did a lot of things. But um, just to bring us back so we can close this out, because I'm trying to keep this at like the 20-minute deal. Mm-hmm. How are we uh, doing? Well, let me see. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so we're going to close this we're out. Close. <laughs> but uh, all I wanted to say is that, look, if you're, again, transitioning or if you're new to the security industry or if it's your first time at GSX and you don't know what to do, you don't know who to walk with, you don't know who's who can just introduce you to somebody or come and hang with us. Hang with us. We'll introduce you. We'll, you know, even if I don't know somebody, you say, well, you want to meet that guy? People know me. I'll literally go up to that, to that person and just start talking, introduce you like you're the greatest human on earth. Right. Because I have absolutely no problem with that. Well, I think, but you know, one of the other things is throughout the industry, right? Yeah. You know, we know people on the government side. Oh, God, yeah. We've, we, we've, our, our, our success is built on uniform guard force management teams right. and companies. And we know a lot of them. So if you know you're thinking about that as a career, uh, I may not be able to give you the right answer, but I guarantee you at GSX I can put you in touch with four people Absolutely. in different companies that can tell you the down and dirty yeah. on um, you know what it's all about. Yeah, because all these jobs are hard work. Yeah. So listen, if you listen to this all the way through, subscribe, press like, do all these other things you're supposed to be doing on YouTube, um, and then follow, follow us, follow everybody that's here. Uh, on this, any closing thoughts, sir, about uh, GSX? Uh, you know, for those that are on the fence, uh, join me in being the first time there. We're going to have a great yeah. time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, hit us up on LinkedIn or uh, yeah. Carlos will have a 12-gallon hat at Texas Night. We so. do. Texas Night. We got, we got my <laughs> your cowboy hat that I stole from you. So that's uh, that's really good. So uh, here we go. September 12th through the 14th, GSX in, uh, in Atlanta. And we're going to be presenting on the 13th. On the same day that we have free, uh, it's a free day for military and law enforcement, so be there. So, GSX 2022, Atlanta, Georgia. We'll see you there. See See you there.